Hello everyone, I would like to explain two new concepts or two new terms that are not new for you. Uh, the first one that I would like to explain is the scale and the second one that I would like to explain is the chords. Okay, what is the definition of uh, an, a scale? Of a scale. I think the most easy definition of a scale is a succession of sounds that could be played up or could be played down. Okay, as you can see, I I would like now to to recover my my board and I would write something. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can can yes, I can put it on here. Am I? And I would like to explain now something. Okay, we have now the scale. Oops, sorry. Scale. What is the definition of a scale? It's a succession of sounds that could be played up and down in whatever we want. Okay? That's only the way of playing something. Um, I think the most uh, known uh, scales for you are the major and the minor scale that you had to be learned, but I learned, but I think most of you haven't. So I have to explain it again and try um, and try you if you understand it in that way, okay? Okay, let's do some drawing here. I think the, the most easy way for explaining this, let's take a new paper, is that we have stairs, okay? This is like a definition of a scale, metaphorical, okay? In a... Imagine way, okay? So let's see. Here we have our well. Let's let's do something a bit mm, a bit complex, okay? Let's do do re mi fa sol la si. And do. Okay? Let's give it a try with colors. Do, Re, Mi, or C, D, E, Fa, Sol, La, C and Do. Okay? This is the scale throw an octave. We can do it more. We can do the scale forever and ever up or forever and ever down. Okay? As you can see, the difference of the distance here. This is one tone. One tone. Okay? Sorry, I, I have to fix this. Sorry, I have started in a place that is is not, is not, ha, it doesn't have any sense. So here we have a tone, here we have one tone, here we have half tone, one tone, one tone, one tone, and a half. Tone. This is the way for developing the scale up and we can do it, we can play it down, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. We can do Do, Si, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do or C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, okay? So this is the way that we can understand every single thing in our scale, in our major scale. This is the way of developing the major scale. 
so sorry for my bad um, handwriting but I am so 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 bad writing and I think it's difficult to understand me but I I wish I can do this some yes I try to fix it I have tried to fix it but I I failed so <laughs> the next one let's let's see about what what can we do with the minor scale okay or let's let's see before walking about the minor scale let's do something okay let's do an exercise let's listen about the this exercise that I have prepared in the other screen here okay three two one please work yes it worked okay this is a uh, uh, kind of a kind of myth <laughs> okay a kind of magic let's see I have here the C major scale that I if I play here will bit here okay I have here the ma C major scale here okay can you see the this pointer here okay let's see if we can play it this is the C major scale okay imagine that we have to play this C scale it's not major now because if we start with the same notes between the Sol and the La we have the same distance here okay we have exactly the same but if we look and between C and Do we have the same distance between the Mi and Fa but if we see the Fa and the Sol here this Fa and Sol doesn't have the same distance here so this scale should should sound in a different way in that place in the seventh okay let's listen it it doesn't sound exactly like this so what can we do for convert or develop this scale in a correct way in a fixed way we can add a sharp okay so if we add a sharp here we can listen that the scale now should sound in the exactly way that the C major scale sounds but in other tone Okay, so it sounds beautiful. Let's do something with the other scale. Okay, we have convert this into okay major scale C or sorry G major scale. Next one, let's see the F mm, scale. This is a an unknown uh, scale that we have to understand now. Okay, we have the different the distance here between the Fa and the Sol that is the, exactly the same the Sol and the La and the Do and the Re. But if we look into the distance between the Fa and the Sol, here we have one tone. Okay, and here in the F mm, scale we have only a half of tone. So what it should, what does it sound? Or uh, what does it sound? Sorry. Um, how should that sound? I think this part should, should sound great, but these three notes should sound or should sound different. Okay? So let's listen it. Mm 
es not e fa e fa sol la si no, mm, mm, mm. fa sol la si it sounds wrong okay let's let's give it a try again i'm sorry i have to play here yes So, fa, so, la, si, let's fix it to si. And now, we add a flat here, okay? For, transform it to the fa or F major scale. So, let's listen it, if it sounds right. Okay, here we have do re. and there we have the G major scale and the F major scale. We can develop 12 different, 12 different uh, scales with every single note that we have into a chromatic scale. What is a chromatic scale? The chromatic scale have the whole uh, different sounds that we have into our over a uh, occidental system okay let's see if i can see the palette and it work yes it works and i should add more 12 one yes here <clears throat> and i see if i can write it the chromatic scale Let's start from the beginning, here, yes. This have the 12 sums that we have in our whole system we have this C C sharp D D sharp E F F sharp G G sharp A B flat and B natural if we do this sounding it sounds like do, 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 and we can do it forever and ever. It's like sounding scaling slowly or with a tiny distance, not it slowly, but I think it's a ding, 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 in a short pieces of waves. Okay, that's the mostly short pieces of waves that we use in the occidental or the western music. Because in the eastern and in the modern music and in the contemporary music, we use less than this distance. We use microtonal uh, things and different weird scales that I will put you something someday I don't know when but I would put you something okay so let's see this is called I will write it here chromatic I think it's in that way I have to in in Spanish we call them chromatic 
but I think is yes it's with an H chromatic scale okay this is the chromatic scale that is sounds in that way that's the scale that is based the fly of the bubble bee the bumblebee sorry fly of the bumblebee bumblebee so <clears throat> that's a famous song but there are lots of songs that are based on this scale have you listened to the last scale that I have played here there are different scales that you don't have to learn but they are made with different sounds not only the major or the minor scale that we have worked okay for example Okay, the Simpson is based on a Lydian scale that we have seen on the uh, Fa uh, F, sorry, F uh, major scale that we developed before. Okay, before developing it, we have this, and we did this. I think it's not easy to understand it, but I think you can do it. Okay, let's give it a try for developing the minor scale. As you can see, the minor scale is based on the C major scale. Okay, the C major scale, did you remember that starts in a C? So in this place, the relative of C is two tones well it's a minor third uh, sorry for the D down so it is an A Do, Si, La C, B, E ok es un La it's an A before developing this or trying to explain this, the E should be the first note in the scale. So we have an A, a B. The distance between the B and the C we have seen that is only a half C, D, E. F and G. And the new A here. Okay, sorry, I'm getting without my Gaussian board. So, as you can see, the distance between this is an, a one tone, one tone. One tone. Oh, sorry. If I if I have mistakes, please um, advise me because I I did a lot because I feel nervous doing these things. Within this one note, within this half tone, one tone, and one tone. Okay. Imagine that we play this scale, for example. It sounds a little bit baroque, I think, or maybe before, but we can improve it. We can make it sound more um, 
Arabic, maybe, or with more tension. That's not the natural minor scale, it's the harmonic minor scale that is based on the natural scale. So let's see if I can explain you with the with the staves here the A minor scale here. Okay, we have the scale. And we have to make it sound a little bit different. So let's put here a sharp. And why? Because the distance between the C and the Do it's only a half of tone. And here we have one tone, so let's give them the sensation of being more harmonic with a thing that in Spanish we call them la sensible. Okay? I think it's something difficult to understand, but I I will play it for you for hearing the difference, okay? This is the natural and the harmonic. Okay? Most of the songs that we play in the films or in the classical music are developed with this scale. So I give you a new exercise for the next day. Today we are, we are going to stop this video in this part. I will explain the chords in another video because I think it's important for you <clears throat> for um, take and be concerned about what are you playing and what are you listening and what have you listened. And now I will give you an exercise. Try to listen songs and examples of songs that are made with this scale, with this sounds or sonority as you can feel it, or atmosphere, musical atmosphere of the major scale. The atmosphere of the minor scale. and the atmosphere with the harmonic one, like sounds like Arabian. Okay, try to give me more examples. Okay, try to listen music that sounds you in a major way and music that sounds you in a minor way, okay? And make more and more examples. I will put you an exercise into a Kahoot. I will send you because, sorry, this week I was, I have been so, bu so busy and I'm so, so, so sorry about that. And I would like to give you two or three more exercises for you for practicing and try to find. That's my exercise. Try to find uh, different songs that have these scales and try to send me to the email. And please, please advise your mates. Most of them are not in the class and haven't sent me the exercise that I have bring you not one, not the last week, two weeks ago. So please, uh, advise them, okay? So 
let's we have to get this um i i have to wish you to have a good day because it's a mostly sunny day a little cold but i think it's a good day for listening music and have the experience of practicing okay and don't uh, feel yourself like under pressure because that's something that is should be relaxing and having yourself concerned about your well-being and about your correct way of being okay so have a good day and good luck for your day